Canned tuna is a popular food that has been around for over a century. The first known instance of canned tuna occurred in the early 1900s, when a canning company in California began selling it as a novelty item. Canned tuna was a common food for American GIs during World War II and afterwards. It was a convenient and non-perishable source of protein that could be easily transported and stored, making it a popular choice for military rations. It was also a relatively inexpensive food that could be easily obtained by GIs stationed overseas. In addition to canned tuna, GIs also ate a variety of other canned and preserved foods, such as meats, fruits, and vegetables, as well as fresh produce and other perishable items when they were available. Over the years, canned tuna has become an increasingly popular food item, particularly in the United States and Europe. It's often used in a variety of dishes, including sandwiches, salads, and casseroles, and is known for its versatility and convenience. Canned tuna is also a good source of protein and other nutrients, making it a popular choice for people looking to add more protein to their diet. We learn about how tuna is caught and processed into canned tuna. Let's start in the ocean, where tuna can grow up to 1,800 pounds. Tuna are migratory fish that are found in all of the world's oceans. They are known for their ability to swim long distances and dive to great depths and are popular among sport fishermen for their speed and agility. Tuna are known to migrate to different parts of the ocean in search of food, with some species traveling thousands of miles each year. They are typically found in areas where there is an abundance of small fish and plankton, which they feed on. Tuna are also known to feed on larger prey, including other fish, squid, and crustaceans. Tuna are pelagic fish, meaning that they spend most of their lives in the open ocean and are not typically found near the bottom of the ocean. Some species of tuna, such as bluefin tuna, are known to migrate to cooler waters in the summer and warmer waters in the winter. Tuna reproduce through a process called spawning, in which females release eggs into the water and males fertilize them. Tuna are known to spawn in large groups, with some species releasing millions of eggs at a time. The eggs hatch into larvae, which then develop into juvenile fish. Tuna can live for several years and grow to be quite large, with some species reaching over 10 feet in length. Tuna for canning is typically caught in the wild, rather than being raised in a controlled environment. There are several methods used to catch tuna, including trolling, longlining, and purse signing. Trolling involves pulling a line with baited hooks behind a boat while longlining involves using a long line with many hooks attached to it. Purse signing is a method of fishing that involves encircling a school of fish with a large net and pulling it closed, like a purse. This method is typically used to catch pelagic fish, such as tuna, mackerel, and sardines, that swim in schools near the surface of the water. Purse signing is done by a team of fishermen aboard a fishing vessel who use a ring of floating buoys to mark the perimeter of the net. The net is then deployed from the vessel, with one end attached to the ring of buoys and the other end to winch on the vessel. When a school of fish is located, the vessel maneuvers around the school, using the buoys to guide the net into place. Once the net is in position, the winch is used to draw the bottom line of the net closed, trapping the fish inside. Purse signing is a highly efficient method of fishing, as it allows fishermen to catch large quantities of fish in a single operation. However, it can also have negative impacts on marine ecosystems, as it can result in the accidental catch of a non-target species, such as dolphins and sea turtles. Some measures have been put in place to minimize these impacts such as the use of fish-friendly nets and the release of non-target species. After being caught, the fish are typically brought on board and chilled to preserve their quality. The tuna are then cleaned and gutted, and the head and fins may be removed. The tuna may be processed whole or filleted, depending on the end product. If the tuna are being processed whole, they are placed in large tanks filled with cold salt water and transported to a processing facility. At the facility, 
The tuna are inspected for quality and sorted by size. They are then placed in a machine that removes the scales, and the tuna are washed and chilled again. If the tuna are being filleted, they are cut into smaller pieces using a machine or by hand. The fillets are then inspected for quality and chilled. Once the tuna have been processed, they are ready to be canned. The tuna are placed in cans along with oil or water, depending on the desired product. The cans are then sealed and heated to a high temperature in a process called sterilization, which kills any bacteria and preserves the tuna. The cans are then cooled and labeled with information such as the type of tuna and the date of processing. The canned tuna is then ready to be shipped and sold. There are many different types of fish that are commonly canned, including salmon, sardines, mackerel, herring, and anchovies. Canned tuna is one of the most popular types of canned fish, but other types of fish are also widely available. Salmon is often canned in a similar way to tuna, with the fish being filleted and packed in cans with oil or water. Sardines are small, oily fish that are often canned with tomato sauce or mustard. Mackerel is another small, oily fish that is often canned in oil or water. Herring is a type of small, fatty fish that is often pickled or canned in tomato sauce or mustard. Anchovies are small, salty fish that are often canned in oil or salt water. Canned fish is a convenient and nutritious food that is widely available and can be used in a variety of dishes. It is often a good source of protein, omega-3 fatty acids, and other nutrients. Canned tuna is a popular food in many cultures around the world. It's a convenient and affordable source of protein that can be easily stored and transported, making it a popular choice for people in many different countries. In the United States, canned tuna is a common food that is found in many households and is often used in a variety of dishes, including tuna salad, tuna sandwiches, and tuna casserole. Canned tuna is also popular in other countries, such as the United Kingdom, Australia, and Canada where it is often used in similar ways. In addition, canned tuna is popular in many other cultures around the world, including in South America, Europe, and Asia, where it's used in a variety of dishes and recipes. In addition to its nutritional value, canned tuna is also important for economic reasons. The canned tuna industry is a significant contributor to the economies of many countries providing employment and income for people who work in the industry. It's also an important export product for many countries, providing a source of foreign exchange and contributing to global trade. Finally, the tuna industry has made efforts to improve its sustainability practices in recent years, and many canned tuna brands are now certified as sustainable by third-party organizations. This means that the tuna in these cans has been caught in a way that minimizes the impact on the marine environment and ensures the long-term sustainability of tuna stocks. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for new videos.